may God bless the DAV and those who represent it. Thank you very much. The start of our 97th year last August began with your selection of our national officers, highlighted by the election of National Commander Delphine Metcalf Foster, who made history by becoming the first woman to hold DAV's highest post. A retired Army First Sergeant, the Commander has worked tirelessly throughout this past year to ensure our organization's top legislative priorities remain front and center of the national dialogue, even as the VA faced leadership turmoil. It's no surprise that she was listed number eight on We Are the Mighty's Mighty 25 list of influencers supporting the military community. A woman of action, she led DAV and auxiliary members in meeting with lawmakers during our annual Midwinter Conference in Washington. Commander Metcalf Foster has spent her tenure heavily involved in the push for smart VA health care reform, appeals modernization, improved benefits for women veterans, and the expansion of caregiver benefits to all eras of service-disabled veterans, a topic near and dear to her heart as she and her late husband Jimmy were ineligible for these critical VA support services and benefits simply because he served before 9-11. Sadly, my story is not unique. Behind me are hundreds of other veterans and caregivers who are unfairly left behind. During her term, the commander continued the fight on this critical issue and rallied members to support unsung heroes, our nation's caregivers. Pressure on Capitol Hill from Washington headquarters, VSO partners, DAV's benefit protection team leaders, and nationwide supporters enabled us to say mission accomplished this past May with the passage of the VA Mission Act. This comprehensive bill not only supports America's unsung heroes, but also makes a number of other critical reforms and improvements to strengthen the VA healthcare system. This historic law allows VA to consolidate its community care programs, provides additional funding for community services, gives VA tools to hire and retain quality healthcare professionals, and develops a long-term plan to realign and modernize VA's healthcare infrastructure. After years of hard work on these issues, DAV helped to bring about the monumental change that will ensure a strong and viable healthcare system to serve future generations of disabled veterans. DAV's National Service Department continues to live up to its legacy of being the best in the business. Thanks to the help of our generous donors and corporate sponsors, like Cook Tire, our mobile service offices visited 665 sites in 2017, allowing our service officers to provide accessibility to benefits to more than 6,000 claimants who might otherwise go underserved. Our transition service officers filed more than 24,000 claims last year and helped ensure nearly 42,000 transitioning veterans were aware of their earned benefits. With nearly 1.1 million powers of attorney on hand, DAV provided representation for more than 250,000 VA claims this past year. Between all 4,408 county, chapter, department, transition, and national service officers, DAV helped veterans and family members obtain more than $4.3 billion in new and retroactive benefits in 2017. This year, natural disasters once again crisscrossed the nation, devastating communities from California to Georgia and Puerto Rico to Texas, and even to those affected by volcanoes in Hawaii. Fortunately, our disaster relief program was there to make an impact and aid our fellow veterans on the ground by supplying nearly 4,000 drafts and supply kits, totaling more than $1.3 million. And I thank you guys for the things that you, you do. I, I just have never met such generosity before. This year, our membership department continued modernizing by expanding our efforts in the digital space via military.com as well as social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook, where DAV now offers customized photo frames for our fans to show support for their loved ones and our organization. We also made it easier to recruit prospective members by providing recruitment information on social media and through our new app, which can be added to any iPhone or Android smartphone. With the touch of a few buttons, recruiters can enlist prospective members to our ranks and make them eligible for a wide range of money-saving and life-enhancing benefits. For 2017, DAV volunteers provided nearly 4.8 million hours through the VA Voluntary Services Program, the DAV Transportation Network, and our local Veterans Assistance Program. This donated time is the equivalent of over 2,300 years of full-time work at a 40-hour-per-week average. 
Additionally, the Voluntary Services Department relaunched our Forward March campaign aimed at encouraging those who've received DAV's assistance to pay it forward by volunteering at least one hour of time to help veterans in their local communities. This initiative helped the local veterans assistance program, which has grown significantly. In 2017, 600,000 more hours were reported than in the prior year. To further boost volunteer efforts, we launched VolunteerForVeterans.org, a web-based resource where willing individuals can sign up to volunteer for veterans in their local communities. At the same time, veterans, their advocates, caregivers, and even DAV chapters are able to request help as needed, creating a community of volunteerism for those in need and those who are willing to help. When it comes to employment, we're also executing a busy schedule of 140 career fairs across the nation this year, bringing in more than 43,000 attendees with the help of generous donors and corporate sponsors like Blue Line Rental. By offering military personnel, veterans, and their spouses various online employment resources, as well as the opportunity to directly engage with employers who know the value of hiring those who served, DAV has become one of, if not the, most prolific charity in terms of connecting veterans with employers. Our involvement with Working Nations Hiring America series is just one of many examples of DAV's influence in this area as we continue our efforts to find meaningful employment for veterans and their families. Since our employment department stood up in 2014, our career fairs have drawn in nearly 119,000 job seekers with a total of 57,000 job offers. The Charitable Service Trust supports dozens of unique initiatives that provide injured and ill veterans rehabilitative and emotional therapy, transition assistance, employment support, emergency relief, and a range of other services. In 2017, the Trust issued more than $6.7 million in grants to support our nation's heroes, their families, and survivors. DAV again co-hosted the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic in Snowmass, Colorado. Among the participants, our 2018 DAV Freedom Award recipient, Marine Corps veteran Jatea Taylor, stood out as a shining example of how adaptive winter sports can make a difference in the lives and recoveries of participants. Beautiful turn. We're not necessarily disabled, we're just differently abled. To have organizations like the VA and DAV put on an event like this is liberating for veterans. We know we're gonna be in safe hands. You understand what we go through. Jatea plans on returning in the years to come with the same positive outlook, unbeatable spirit, and determination to succeed. Additionally, we once again teamed up with the VA to co-host the National Disabled Veterans Tea Tournament in Iowa. Previously a local program, the national event promotes rehabilitation, fellowship, and camaraderie among disabled veterans through adaptive sporting events. The DAV 5K expanded again in 2017. In addition to races in downtown Cincinnati, Atlanta, Boston, Newport News, and Tulsa, we hosted our Run to Honor Veterans in San Antonio, bringing 9,000 participants from 42 states to the Nationwide Series. Along with National Series sponsor USAA, we're anticipating another phenomenal turnout for the series in 2018, giving DAV significant outreach opportunities and a chance to raise awareness about our services to veterans. We have also continued expanding our presence in the social sphere, topping 1.5 million fans on Facebook, and continuing to promote our initiatives and message across social media platforms like Twitter, which grew to more than 95,000 followers in 2017, and Instagram, which has now topped 27,000 followers. We also partnered with A&W Restaurants, which, like DAV, has been a part of America for nearly 100 years. To show their appreciation for the men and women who have sacrificed so much, A&W stores collected customer donations benefiting DAV from early July up to National Root Beer Float Day in August. In the week leading up to Veterans Day, DAV helped thousands create customized Thank a Vet videos honoring the veterans in their lives and reached millions of people through social networks. We were also front and center at Times Square reminding Americans of the service and sacrifices of those who served while giving them the opportunity to sign thank you cards for hospitalized veterans. We also continued our partnership with Golden Corral through the restaurant's Military Appreciation Night, which provides free meals to veterans around Veterans Day. In 2017, the annual event raised over $1.4 million for DAV, bringing the total to more than $14.3 million since the event began in 2001. Additionally, 
Approximately 3,800 children of wounded, ill, and injured veterans are expected to attend Camp Corral at 22 locations in 19 states with the help of donations from DAV. Thanks goes to all of our corporate partners for helping DAV fulfill our mission throughout the year. It is through their generosity we are able to make differences in the lives of our nation's heroes. Supporting us on this effort, the fight for caregivers, and more is the DAV Auxiliary, which has had a busy year under the guidance of Commander Craig Jonakin, who's the first male to hold the Auxiliary's highest post. Through their unmatched, dedicated service to local community veterans, Commander Jonakin, National Adjutant Pat Kemper, and the rest of our friends and allies in the Auxiliary stood up their own National Caregiver Initiative to assist with funding caregiver and companion activities for events like the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic and National Disabled Veterans Tea Tournament, among others. DAV has continued to gain momentum throughout the last year with a dedicated network of members, volunteers, and supporters working diligently to keep our organization invigorated with new ideas and fresh opportunities to engage. I'm proud of all we've accomplished over the past year. I'm exceptionally proud of our tremendous DAV and auxiliary community, and I look forward to another year serving side by side with you, working together to keep our promises to America's veterans and their families.